Good evening from Hindo Motorcycle Sales, Eaton, Ohio. Coming to you today with a little informative video. So since spring is finally here, you've probably rolled your 2017 or later Ural motorcycle out of the garage and realized, oh, we forgot to spring forward. Or because it's finally warm weather over this much colder than normal and longer than normal winter in the United States, you need to adjust your clock. So you held down the buttons and you scrolled through and you thought that you were able to just change the clock and that you were good to go, but you accidentally changed one of the settings. Say this setting, for example, if we changed that or we change, say we change this one and then we went and we started it up and thought we'll just go for a quick trip around the block so we go we're gonna take off and all of a sudden we see that our speedometer is no longer working of course we are rolling and you see it reads zero uh oh, did we break it? Well, we just need to go back through and make sure we have our settings properly adjusted. Again, with the new electronic speedometer, you can adjust these, so you have to be careful. And when you do set your, we're going to go ahead and set our time here. We're going to scroll through, and it's 6.07 p.m. We want to go past that. This is for your service interval. You see the little wrench there. Uh, again, that's for your service. We could set this if we wanted it to uh, set for our service interval. We'll just leave this one set at zero. And we go here and we'll put this back to zero like it was. You see how I just press that button and adjust. And we go to zero, oops, went right past, we'll go through, zero, that one's okay where that's at. Now, this is the one that we accidentally changed when we were trying to reset our clock. It needs to read SP1, it looks like a little R, 1P. So we hit this button here, you say three, oh, one R, 4P, we don't want 4P, we want one R, 1P. Now go to the next one. We accidentally changed this setting as well, speed setting. P-001 is how it should read. Leave that alone. And that should say hall. And we're back to the clock. Now to set it, we just turn the key off. See it says 6.08 p.m. Turn the key back on. Kill switch on. We are in neutral. We start it up. And let's back up here. And you'll see we start picking up speed going backwards. We're back to being as good as normal. Again, that's just a quick little demo on how you set the clock as it starts to rain out here and getting cloudy again. So we'll go back inside the shop. Again, so if you do happen to uh, mess up when you're setting your clock, you just have to make sure you go back and scroll through, um, make sure your settings are correct in order for the speedometer to work the way it should. Uh, we'll go back through and we'll show you the settings one more time. Um, just scroll through, pushing the right button. You see there, that's the RPM. And of course the TAC isn't working from the factory, it was the way it was set up. But uh, there is a mod out there on one of the message boards you can do to make your tachometer work. And you can do that if you so desire. Again, P001. So, to show you what the settings should read, that's just for your server interval. And this needs to say SP1R1P. And this needs to say P-001. And this is on a 2018 gear up. It also applies to the 2017 uh, gear ups and patrols. The CT does have a little bit different setting. It's uh, the speed setting is 450 instead of 
uh, what you saw there. Um, but we can go through a CT if you have a problem with it. Again, you can always give us a call, 937-787-3686. Stop in and see us. We're glad to walk you through anything. It uh, doesn't matter where you're located in the country. We can take care of your Euro parts and service and all that good stuff. Also sell you a new unit, upgrade you to... Uh, this is a forest fog. You see it there as the camera adjusts. It looks greenish. Uh, it does in, a, in the darker light. It looks kind of black. You see there it looks black. We have a lot of folks come into the shop and they think it's black. Uh, of course, there's a yellow tag. That's an Oregon bike. Um, came in for some warranty work and some service. So again, this is how to properly set your clock and your speedometer electronic gauge cluster. Thanks for watching.